Hi everyone, I am the Roaring Ra and welcome to a new Design Doll tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how to import objects into Design Doll from other websites. Previously I've shown you how to do it from TerraWell's website, which owns Design Doll, but today I'm going to show you how you, how you can get free 3D models of any shape or size into Design Doll. So let's get started. Okay, first things first. What you want to do is go into Item, Add Object, Box. And we're going to name this one tree. Then you're going to go to the box, right click it, go to add tag, import tag. Click on the paper clip, import mesh. And I have a pre-downloaded file and it's an OBJ file, that's a dot object file. That is the specific file type you need for design doll. Other ones will not work. So let's pick a tree. Don't worry too much about the scaling part. You can adjust it the moment you enter the object. So apply. And there we go. We have a lovely low polygon tree. Very nice, isn't it? What a lovely colour. <laughs> Next thing you want to do, right click on the tag again. And then you want to add tag and then you want a position tag. There you go. This will give you a little more freedom onto how to move your object because I didn't f I found that the axis that it comes with when you import it isn't very easy to move. This one you have a lot more freedom and flexibility and you can position it however you please. Woo! Tornado tree! Bah. <laughs> so the next part is where can you get more 3D models to add to your environment? And I will show you. It's very simple. There are three websites I like to use. One is Free 3D Models, CG Trader, and Turbo Squid. These will allow you to look up OBJ files, which is the specific file type you need for Design Doll. No other file types will work, remember. Very easy, very easy to find on all these websites. And I'll give you an example of how to look for something. So let's go to CG Trader because I'm quite like their. I like all the options that they give you. So let's say I want another tree for my environment. Now we want to select free because uh, skint. <laughs> Formats, OBJ. And we want between 5 and 10k because the max number of polygons that Design Doll can handle is 65,000. So you do not want to go above that. So actually, we can go between 10 and 50k, that's a silly me. Now, when you want to download objects for Design Doll, make sure it is a single item, otherwise it's it's not going to work. If it's a group of items, they don't tend to be separated items. So here we go, simple tree, downloads. Give it a few seconds to download. Now, it'll download these as a RAR file, so you need to export it into the correct file. Now you just want the OBJ file because Design Doll will not import any textures. It's not capable of doing that. So extract to the correct folder. Go back into Design Doll and then we're going to do the same process again. Add object, box, tree to import tag import mesh tree apply and there we go add tag position tag and then we are going to scale this up we let it grow let it grow got to start watching the lower racks <laughs> There we are, we have another tree. Again, a very low polygon image. Very simple, not a great amount of detail, but you are not looking for detail in this. This would be an ideal tree to build a composition if you wanted to make a little picnic scene, if you just wanted to make a simple forest. Again, you are looking for composition, not for detail when it comes to design at all. And there we go, how simple was that? Absolutely easy peasy. 
And that's all for now guys. If you liked the video make sure to give it a thumbs up and leave a wee comment. Let me know if there's any more videos like this you would like to see. I do have an upcoming one that's going to be about creating body shapes within Design Doll to get a variety of character sizes and depths. There's also going to be some upcoming videos on how to create 3D rooms within the software Room Sketcher. So if you'd like to see more of those, make sure to, to subscribe to the channel and I look forward to seeing you all again. Bye!